President Obama takes his battle to try to reform health care to Chicago today. He'll address the very powerful but skeptical American Medical Association. Joining us from Washington is former Senate Majority Leader Tom Daschle. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Harry. Open up the New York Times this morning right on the front page. Obama opened a reigning in medical suits. Could part of all of this be tort reform? Well, I think as we look at all of the different things we have to do, tort reform is going to be on the table. It's a very important issue for doctors. It's important an issue for uh, containing the unnecessary costs that we're spending today in ways that uh, are directly related. So clearly that is something I'm sure the president will address. Can he get the trial lawyers? Can he get so many Democrats who are so married to being against this to actually have a conversation about this? And is this a way to actually get the Republicans involved? Well, I think it's important that everything be on the table, first of all, and secondly, that we look at all of this in the context of what it is we're trying to do. What we're trying to do is to provide better access, we're going to try to control costs, and we're going to do a lot better job with regard to quality. When you look at the entire goal, Harry, the real question is how do we do that best, and how can we ensure that all the stakeholders are at the table to help us do that? Tort reform and all of the related issues, including unnecessary care, are part of that formula. This is such a big deal. I was having lunch with a, a physician yesterday, a surgeon, and he said if anything can be done about malpractice insurance, that would be a giant leap. This is such a big headline. And if, if some, do, Does the White House really believe it can make progress on this? Well, I think we'll have to let the president give uh, his uh, remarks today before mm -hmm. we come to any conclusions about what, what he might be saying. But I think that there's a clear understanding that, uh, that the insurance issue, that the amount of uh, insurance providers pay today is, is out of control and that it's affecting the way we provide care. We have uh, six to seven hundred billion dollars of unnecessary care. Some of it is a direct result mm -hmm. of uh, doctors trying to make sure that they're not going to get sued. So we've got to find ways as I say, for win-win-win here. We've got to make sure that the doctors feel good about it, the right. patients feel good about it, and all the stakeholders are, are, are contributing. Yeah, because every time you get a hangnail, somebody says you should get an MRI. This is completely out of control. Exactly. Uh, okay, let's talk about the idea of, na you have 50 million people in America not insured. Does there have to be a national insurance uh, a policy or some sort of national insurance uh, company that's created in order to insure those folks? Well, I think that the option of having a public plan is a very, very good idea for controlling costs, increasing transparency, doing the kinds of things to provide Americans the greatest amount of choice. We'll have to try to find ways to work through that. I know it's a hot button issue mm -hmm. for a lot of Republicans and other stakeholders, but I think the bottom line is we ought to be able to find the common ground uh, that gives us uh, the coverage we're looking for and the right. quality and cost containment we really need. Tom Daschle, thank you so much for your time this morning, sir. Do appreciate My it. My pleasure.